Oh, don't you dare bite at me. Roman, he's trying to bite me. All right, I'm gonna just walk away. He's on his own. Deep in the woods, deep in the woods, it was ringing oh, real man. good. Large set. 10 inches down, 10 inches down with a solid okay, sound. Okay, check it out. Mule shoe, mule shoe, you're so sweet. I'm gonna take you home with me. I dug it up. Alright guys, we're gonna give this another shot. I was out all day yesterday. I didn't find a single thing. I'll give you a one minute recap. Indiana State Quarter. Not what I was hoping for. It's a quarter, so I'll take it. Do you see these bugs? Today's not a good bug day. Alright, I just got a dime. Alright, I got it! Um, the date on it is, let's do this without dropping it again, 2006! Alright, it's got another quarter. Again, modern, state quarter. I'm not gonna bother getting a date off it. Alright, I got a bottle cap. <laughs> Woohoo, right? That's kind of the day we're having. It's got another dime. So, Ooh, I just dropped my shovel on my sneakers. All right, we're good. <laughs> I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. They are like everywhere, look. There's a bite. There's a bite. There's one, there's one. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch on the back of my neck. All right, Roman and I are here at this field and hopefully my luck is gonna turn around because I've had such a lousy day. So at this point, you guys probably aren't ever going to see this video, but I just found this. It's the coolest thing I've found all day. Will you see it? I don't know. Depends on if I find anything. This is not enough to make a video. Alright, come on here, bud. Go ahead and cross. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, don't you dare bite at me. Roman! He's trying to bite me! Alright, I'm gonna just walk away. He's on his own. <laughs> i never seen a black snake do that. Alright, so, the last 45 minutes of my day yesterday were spent driving around getting new permissions. Um, I asked three places, I got two. So, sometimes you lose, whatever. Um, but, I know someone had asked, how do you get permissions on one of my sites? Um, one of the best ways I've found to get permissions is at around 5 o'clock when people are getting home from work, I drive around aimlessly, and if I see a place that I like and the person happens to be outside, I stop and I ask. Um, a lot of the times, if you call a person, if you send them a letter, you know, when you're not face-to-face, -face, it doesn't really work. And the other thing is, I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, I knock on doors. The thing about knocking on doors, though, is when you knock on a door, you don't know what you're interrupting. Um, and that's kind of, you know, you, you could be un interrupting a fight with their spouse, and you knock on the door, and they're going to yell at you, you know. So you really want to be careful about knocking on doors. Um, there was an incident one time where I knocked on a door, and <laughs> some strung-out guy with bloodshot eyes op opened the door. He had, like, track marks on his arm. I was like, okay, maybe not. This isn't a good idea. So always be careful when you're asking for permissions. Um, my last column, maybe my last, last column in American Digger Magazine was about asking for permissions and being careful um, because you never know what the guy's got buried in his backyard. So it could be like an overconfident metal detectorist or his ex-wife or, you know. So just be careful. Um, but that's my advice for getting permissions. Now we're going to hit this house here. Um, back, back there, there's a house. Uh, it is 1830s, and it's been hit before by a local guy, um, but I figured I'd still give it a shot, so let's try it. All right, so hopefully we don't have a repeat of yesterday with a bunch of clad. Uh, I just got a dime, modern dime. I don't know how the people who hunt for modern change do it, because every time I see a modern coin, I just get, like, all discouraged. 
So more power to you. Um, let's keep going. All right, so I just turned around. I approached from the behind, and um, I just turned around. How cool is that building? Like, that is so neat, right? Like, look at the architecture on that. No, they did say I could go inside the house, so I might, like, go clarify that they meant for real and check out the house. Because I did see a really cool lamp, and I drove by the one time in the window, so. Wow. It's got that 1920s drop shade. That is cool. It's like a glass light fixture. Very neat. And then you got the control box over in the corner. You got these really cool old insulators up here. Check that out. Oh my gosh, there's like a hole in the ceiling. Yeah, I'm not going up there. All right, so very cool. Yeah, I just turned around and I saw that. It's like, oh my gosh, that is really neat. So, all right, let's keep going. All right, well, it sounded really nice. Dun, dun, dun. Bummer. Oh yeah, and if you notice, I'm wearing a glove today. That's because I cut my finger. But I didn't cut it metal detecting. I was actually trying to open some chocolate cake. And it was in this plastic container and I like ran my finger along the edge and it just like cut right into it. So, yeah, I cut my finger. So I'm wearing gloves now. You guys can be happy. All right, let's keep going. Oh, by the way, here's the house. So I may or may not be going in there, but another thing, when you're looking for permissions, I totally like how to get permissions. When you're looking for permissions and you're looking for old houses, like if you saw that, you'd be like, oh, well that's not that old. But if you look down here, I, I call that looking under the skirt. <laughs> but it's all stone underneath, so that's something to look for. Um, all right, yeah, let's keep going. I got a weedy. <laughs> Just pull that out and I know this awesome mushroom over here. Check that thing out. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's cool, right? Very cool mushroom. Alright. Oh, let's see if I can get a date off this weedy. Alright, it's a 1928 weedy. Let's keep going. The roundness and I got all excited. The shotgun shell cap. Darn it all! Alright, so I just found this curious piece of lead. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm still sick. I'm still getting over it. But, um... It's kind of weird. The one side looks melty, but the other side looks like it's... I don't know. I don't know. I figured I'd show you just in case it was like some super rare or something or other. And then I didn't show you, and then somebody saw it in one of my videos and was like, oh, look, that's a blah, 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 and I'd already thrown it away. So, um, that was a lot of explanation that you really didn't need, but, <coughs> um, all right, so I just dug this curious little object, but I posted it on American Digger Magazine's Can You ID, so they'll probably get back to me within the next 10 minutes, and I'll be able to tell you exactly what it is. It's going to be one of those durr moments, I'm sure. I'm going to be like, ugh, duh. All right, let's keep going. So we maybe just found the coolest thing of the day. And I think it's a little clock winder. A little clock key to wind the clock. Um, oh, it's hinged. I don't know. This little part wiggles. I'm going to, like, break it right off. Um... Let's see if it has a design on it. All right, no design, it's just blank. But it does this. Very cool, I could be wrong, it could also be a drawer pull, but it seems kind of awkward to be a drawer pull. I don't know, maybe. Maybe it was a really like small drawer. So, I don't know. Cool find though. All right, so this is actually pretty cool. Um, right here. There's a creek. I'm basically standing in a creek, but it's been so dry that there's hardly any water in here. Um, but you got your layers here where it's been eaten away. And I haven't found anything anywhere in the yard, so I decided to give it a shot here. Um, 
Check this out. You know when you get those deep iron hits and you're like, oh my gosh, that sounds so good. What could it be? Check out this deep iron hit right here, guys. Corrugated roofing. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I don't even know that's iron, but maybe. Look at that. It's right here. There's my predator shovel. Do you see how deep that is? That's insanely deep. Uh, that's kind of been my theme of the day. There's really nothing popping up. And I wonder if that's because it's all been filled in. Because, I mean, there's no way that... I don't think that could have naturally gotten down that far. So I think I'm going to head across the street. Maybe putz around the farmettes for a little while. There was a house there built in 1890s that was torn down 10 years ago. So... Um, I don't know if you can see it across the street here. There's a field right there. That's the one I'm going to, so I'll give it a shot. I'm always finding little rings, but I never find the string is still attached, so ta-da! All right, so I thought I'd give you a better look at this building before I head across the street. This is just incredible. Like, unfortunately, they put ugly white siding on it, but <coughs> I'm looking inside with the owner just now. He hadn't actually been inside. But I'm going to take you inside because it's really awesome. And I know we've peaked, but check this out. I don't know, but I think that maybe this was like a little house. Which is insane. But look at this door. How cool is that? And it's even got a little mail slot here. Like, it's incredible. So I have no idea. This building has me completely like confused. <coughs> I've got the attic up there. I don't know if I can somebody like lunge at me. But then check this out. Little closet. The lock on it. Like a little nest back there. Very cool. Be awesome if there was like some coins in here, but I don't think we're gonna have that good luck. We gotta go find them. So, all right. <laughs> Look at me looking for money and checking up there. Ooh, I wonder if we could just pop this open. Westinghouse. I'm gonna hide some money in that thing, but I don't even know where to start without like shocking myself, so I'm not gonna play with that. Um, all right. See any floorboards we could pry up? Maybe not. I don't know. I just thought this building was too cool. Fixture, 1920s. Hey guys, so I'm just sitting in my car waiting for my son's bus to come and I figured I'd let you know what's gonna be happening in the next couple weeks. So next week on Monday, I am doing a 1920s pool, which is super exciting. I found lots of silver coins outside the fence, but next week we're actually gonna be inside the fence detecting around the pool. So that is gonna be so thrilling. And before the 1920s, it was a picnicking spot. Victorian era picnicking spot. So. so we have that lined up for next week. The week after that, I'm going north to Centralia. And if you look up Centralia, you will see awesome pictures of smoking ground and fire and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, Centralia was a mining town that actually, when they were mining it in the 60s, they sparked a vein of coal and the whole thing just lit up. So underneath the ground is completely on fire. The whole the whole town is on fire and the government came in and they took a bunch of homes and buildings by eminent domain and knocked them all down. But I have an old map and I'm going to be comparing the old map to the current layout of the town and finding the schools and the churches and all the places where there could potentially be coins. I think I hear the school bus. Here it comes!
I'm pretty sure there's a movie that starts like this. Hope you liked the video. Make sure you like and subscribe so that I can reach more people with my channel.